Module 5. Fats. Essential energy supply nutrients. Fats are types of lipids that are an essential part of a healthy diet, providing energy and aiding in the absorption of fat-soluble vitamins. However, not all fats are created equal. There are several different types of fats, each with their own unique characteristics and impacts on our health. The first type of fats we will discuss are triglycerides. Triglycerides are composed of three fatty acid molecules, which are long chains of carbon atoms surrounded by hydrogen atoms, plus one glycerol molecule, a three-carbon alcohol. Triglycerides are a type of fat molecule found in the blood that are used by the body for energy. They are produced by the liver and come from the foods we eat. When the body has an excess of triglycerides, they are stored in adipose tissue that can contribute to weight gain and obesity. High levels of triglycerides in the blood are also associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease, including heart attacks and strokes. Triglycerides and Health A key factor in distinguishing types of fats is their level of saturation. This refers to how many hydrogen atoms surround each carbon. One example of this is saturated fat. Saturated fats are typically solid at room temperature and are found primarily in animal products such as meat, butter, and cheese. Saturated fats are known to increase levels of LDL, the bad cholesterol, in the blood, which can increase the risk of heart disease. A healthier version of fat is unsaturated fat. Unsaturated fats are typically liquid at room temperature and are found in plant-based foods such as nuts, seeds, and vegetable oils. Unsaturated fats can be further divided into two categories, monounsaturated fats and polyunsaturated fats. Monounsaturated fats are found in foods such as olive oil, avocados, and nuts. They are known to have a beneficial effect on cholesterol levels, lowering LDL cholesterol while maintaining or even raising HDL cholesterol, which is known as the good cholesterol. Polyunsaturated fats are found in foods such as fish, flaxseed, and sunflower oil. A good example of a food that is high in unsaturated fat are nuts. Nuts are rich in healthy unsaturated fat and also contain protein, some minerals, and fiber. Nuts are a high energy food, 160 to 180 calories for one ounce of serving of nuts. Research on nuts in the diet shows that people who eat one or two ounces of nuts daily do not gain weight from increased calorie intake, are generally leaner with more muscle and less fat in the body, and often find nuts satiating so they eat less food later. Finally, we have the trans fats. Trans fats are the unhealthiest form of fats. They are found in foods such as margarine, fried foods, and baked foods, and are known to increase LDL cholesterol and decrease HDL cholesterol, increasing the risk of heart disease. A person should limit intake of saturated fatty acids and trans fats to as little as possible. Why we need fats. In addition to carbohydrates, Fats are a primary source of energy in the body. Fats actually provide more energy per gram, 9 kilocalories, compared to carbohydrates, 4 kilocalories. Additionally, fats store energy for later use. The body only has enough carbohydrates stored up to last one or two days. Excess fats are stored in the adipose and muscle tissue and are used when we're unable to eat or when we choose not to eat. However, consuming too much fat can have serious health effects. One of the major dangers of a high-fat diet is hypertension. Hypertension is when the blood pressure is above the normal range. Consuming too much fat can cause the arteries to narrow and become less elastic, which in turn can increase blood pressure. It can also damage the kidneys, reduce brain function, impair physical mobility, and cause death. Symptoms of hypertension, hypertension and low blood pressure as well include confusion, lightheadedness, fatigue, and shortness of breath, among many others. Blood pressure is measured in two phases. The pressure in the arteries when the heart contracts, which is the systolic pressure, and the pressure in the arteries when the heart relaxes, which is the diastolic pressure. Below is a comparison between optimal blood pressure and hypertension. Optimal blood pressure is when the systolic blood pressure is less than 120 millimeters, of mercury and the diastolic blood pressure is less than 80 millimeters of mercury, and hypertension is when the systolic blood pressure is 140 or more and the diastolic blood pressure is 90 or more. 
One way to reduce energy intake and body weight is to block the absorption of energy containing macronutrients, especially fat. If this can be done, people could eat large portions of their favorite foods and not have to worry about weight gain. Fat blockers are a type of dietary supplement designed to prevent the absorption of dietary fats into the body. These supplements work by binding to the fat molecules in the digestive system, forming a complex that is too large to be absorbed by the body. As a result, the fat is excreted from the body rather than being stored as an adipose tissue. One of the most well-known fat blockers is chitosin. Chitosin is a fiber derived from the shells of crustaceans, such as shrimp and crab. There have been several studies conducted on the efficacy of chitosin as a fat blocker, with mixed results. Some studies have shown that chitosin can be effective in reducing body weight, while others have found no significant difference in weight loss between those taking chitosin and those taking a placebo. The effectiveness of chitosin as a fat blocker depends on its ability to bind with dietary fats. It's estimated that chitosin may bind up to four to six times its weight in fat. For every gram of chitosin consumed, four to six grams of fat should be blocked. Chitosin can also block the absorption of bile acids. If this happens, the liver would have to produce its own from cholesterol, thus reducing serum cholesterol in the body. It's also important to note that fat blockers such as chitosin are not a magic solution for weight loss. Recent research on chitosin shows that over an eight-week period, chitosin helped people lose a very insignificant amount of weight. However, chitosin might be able to help prevent weight gain with continued use over time. Additionally, while they may help to reduce the absorption of dietary fats, fat blockers like chitosin do not address other factors that contribute to weight gain, such as sedentary lifestyle or poor diet. Furthermore, there are potential side effects associated with the use of fat blockers. These can include flatulence, gastrointestinal discomfort, diarrhea, and reduced absorption of fat-soluble vitamins.